Today I'm going to be covering 10 things you need to know about the Vivor 3000 watt 24 volt inverter before you go out and purchase it. And before I get started, I want to do a quick rundown of what's included when you purchase this inverter. So you get a display monitor and a cable to hook that up. You get eight 40 amp fuses and a manual and these battery wires. And of course, the inverter. This is rated at 3000 watts of continuous power and it can surge up to 6,000 watts of surge power. And all that really means is 3,000 watts of continuous power. For as long as you need to use that, you could use up to 3,000 watts. However, if you're gonna be powering motors or something of that sort, it can surge up to 6,000 to start those motors up, but you cannot be running this over 3,000 watts continuously for a long period of time. That 6,000 surge is for a very, very, very short amount of time. Now, this will power up to 90% of all the appliances in your house. Next, I wanna talk about how loud the fans are on this inverter. When it's under a max load, then you can expect to be around 40 decimals. And what that means is that's a lot lower than what I'm talking right now. This is a very quiet unit. And if you want a comparison, uh, 40 decimals is somewhere right around, right there is 52, right there is 40. So it's really low, it's like a whisper. And I have confirmed this by putting it under a load and got it to go around 42, 43. So it's very low, lower than a whisper. You could put this in an area where you might have traffic and I don't think you'll really hear it. Something that a lot of people are concerned with is how much power does this consume when we have it at idle consumption. And what that means is when this is setting without a load on it, but we have the switch turned on, how much power is this consuming when we don't have the appliances turned on? And I confirmed that that was 0.6 amps or what equates to 14.4 watts. Maybe a lot of people don't think about this, but the weight of this unit makes it very portable. This weighs in at right at 15 pounds, making it very useful to build a mobile workstation with this. I mean, you can do kind of whatever you would like with it. This is not heavy at all. At 15 pounds, you can create a portable power station, your very own portable power station at 3000 watts with a 6000 watt surge. So that's pretty cool if you think of it in that sense. And while we're talking portability, we need to talk about dimensions. And I'm going to be throwing a lot of 7 8 numbers at you. Not my fault. It's Vivar's fault for designing everything to be 7 8 So we have 13 and 7 8 in length, but that's not including the terminal. If you want to include the terminal, you need to go roughly 15 and a quarter. And the height of it is going to be 5 and 7 8 And the width of it is 7 and 7 8 <laughs> The built-in protection includes short circuits, overheating, overloading, low voltage, over voltage, and reverse polarity. Now let's talk about each one of those protections. Short circuits, everybody should know, that's when something short circuits and causes a major problem. Now the overheating protection on this starts at 176. So what happens when this heats up over 176 or right at 176, this unit will completely shut down and protect itself from burning up. Now the next one is low voltage, and that happens when we have not enough voltage coming in from the batteries to power the inverter, and that will kick off right at 19 volts. Now that's plus or minus 0.5 volts. Also keep in mind that you'll start hearing an alarm at 21 volts, giving you the indication that something is going wrong and you need to check on the inverter. And on the reverse side of that, we have overload protection. Basically, on this unit, you have 125% of 3,000, which gives you 3,750 watts. Once that happens for over 20 seconds, this unit's gonna completely shut down automatically. And we need to be mindful of the voltage that's coming into the unit because this has the over voltage protection of 31 volts. So if we surge and go over that 31 volts, this is gonna shut down automatically. That means you do not want to use a battery other than a 24 volt battery with this inverter. 
Reverse polarity protects you from making an accidental connection of your positive and your negative and your negative on your positive. So rather than hooking this red to red and black to black, say you had different color wires and your battery was out of sight and you went to hook this up, it would protect you from hooking it up incorrectly. I think it's important to cover the actual cables that come with these inverters. A lot of these inverters that are the budget inverters are sending out copper clad aluminum wires and you should be using pure copper. And let me explain what that is. Copper clad aluminum is a wire that is an aluminum wire, but it has a little thin shield of copper over each strand of wire that's in here. So really this is an aluminum wire, which is acceptable. I mean, you can use it by code, but I would not recommend using aluminum wiring if you have the option to use solid copper wire. So this is a six gauge solid copper wire versus what they send you out here and this is a lot heavier than this copper clad aluminum. And I'll go as far as saying that I think the wire gauge should be upgraded to a thicker gauge wire. What we have here is a two gauge and this would work on this unit uh, safely connected to the terminals. And this is from Windy Nation. This is a pure copper wire and it's got really quality terminals on it. So if you're considering purchasing a, one of these budget inverters, you may want to consider purchasing a set of these Windy Nation battery cables. Each one of the AC outlets are rated at 15 amps and on a 120 volt circuit, 15 amps times 120 is 1800 watts. And if we factor in the 80% rule that states that we should only use 80% of the max capacity of each one of these, that means our 1800 watts really goes down to 1440 watts per plug. That would put you in a safe zone to where you would never have a problem with this. Earlier in the video, I mentioned that this would power up to 90% of the appliances in your home. Let's talk about what those appliances might look like. And that includes almost every small appliance that you will have in your kitchen, including blenders, toasters, microwave ovens, everything like that, this would be able to handle easily and multiples of them actually. If you're out in a shop, then you would be able to use uh, circular saws, miter saws, even wet saws, things, anything that you can plug into in a 15 amp plug, this would be able to handle it and you would be able to run multiples of those. This is a pure sine wave inverter. Now they do make a modified sine wave inverter also. So you're picking the right choice by picking the pure sine wave inverter because it's going to be more compatible with those sensitive appliances that you would like to power up. And those are my top 10 items I think that everybody should know about the Vivar 3000 watt inverter. And before I end this video, I want to ask you of a big favor, smash that thumbs up button if you think that I did an okay job with this video or if you found something helpful about it. I hope to catch you in my next one.